Around two years ago, my daily routine consisted of coming home from school, then booting up and playing games for the entire afternoon. Some days I'd play for four to five hours without even getting up from my chair. And needless to say, this was a huge waste of my time that I didn't really see back then. So I decided enough was enough and attempted to learn some skills that would further me to a potential career. Obviously I got ahead of myself and started to jump straight into the deep end with things like how to learn AI and how to learn penetration testing, but these were a little hard and honestly a little boring, so I thought I'd step back and try to make something I was very passionate about, video games. One of the first things I did was search up how to get started with game development, and to be honest I was a little overwhelmed with the choice of engine, language and teacher, but came across a channel I really enjoyed called Blackthorn Prod. The teacher Noah had just released a course on making a small dodging game using Unity and C Sharp, so I bought the course and started to make the game. It took around 3 days to complete and here's the finished result. It doesn't look like much, but from someone who found it very hard to commit to anything other than Fortnite, this was a huge motivational factor for me. So with my newfound confidence, I did what every novice programmer does and jumped headfirst into my first AAA success. Have you ever heard someone say, did you know, if you slap a chicken a million times, it cooks it? Well, that is the basis of my hit indie game, Chicken Slapper. Chicken Slapper is a clicker game where you slap a chicken and it cooks. And not to brag, but it may or may not have gotten four downloads on the Google Play Store, so, you know. It didn't get past the version two, but it taught me a valuable lesson. Scope creep. I was way too ambitious, so it was time to move on to other projects. My next attempt at making a game was Try to Win. This idea spawned from those old Flash Rage games, you know the ones I'm talking about. It's essentially a maze with some obstacles that you have to navigate. The ship is constantly moving towards your cursor, if it touches it or one of the walls, you restart the level. And this was the first game I finished all the way through and was actually fun to play. I claim that it took two hours to make, but I highly doubt that, so I'm going to guess I was lying back then to look like I remotely knew what I was doing. I didn't do too much for a while after Try to Win. I made a few little prototypes, but nothing really stuck. I made a Pong game using physics for some reason, a Pac-Man remake that doesn't even deserve to be talked about, but ultimately a few months went by with nothing new. By this point, around eight months had gone by since that first game, and I felt like I hadn't really done much. I had nothing I could show for that eight months, so I decided I was going to try and set myself the challenge of making a game in a month. I knew this wasn't going to be an easy task, so I needed some practice. I made several small games over the next few months. One of these was a game where you water plants, but I, I must admit it's not the best. The other game was Grolf. Grolf is a game that I made for a game jam where the theme was size matters. Yeah, actually. In this game, you can control the scale of a golf ball. A small ball can be lifted by fans, whereas a large ball can break through walls. And yeah, that, that's about it. I worked on this with three other people though, so that's why it actually looks and sounds good. All right, so I was pretty much ready at this point to make a game in a month. The idea I came up with was a speedrunning game where you play as a car, and here it is, exhausted. This game was also the first video I uploaded to this channel. I uploaded three devlogs and they were absolutely terrible. I had no idea what I was doing, I cursed in every other line, and they were just downright bad. Exhausted is definitely the game where I learned the most about game dev. I learned that if you just persevere, it's not too hard to get a game up and running. But seriously, I coded this game pretty much with just if statements and variables, so it goes to show how easy it is to make a game nowadays. With Exhausted release, I felt much more motivated than ever to start making a commercial game. I mean, just look at this masterpiece, it, it, I was clearly ready. Gatling was the result of this motivation. Gatling is a tower defense game set in the sky where you have to fend off waves of incoming flying vehicles. I, I don't want to talk about this for too long, seeing as there's a whole video about it on my channel, but Gatling was developed over the course of six months, and I guess I've never really stated this publicly, but the game is no longer in development. My ambitions exceeded my skill, and so personally I don't think I'll ever finish it. This taught me to always limit my expectations so I don't waste another six months on an open-ended project. With Gatling dead, it's late 2020, I've just released a few videos outlining some successful projects from the year. I really wanted to learn more about multiplayer around this time, so I made a ton of games over the course of December, and I mean a ton. You can see five of the most interesting ones in this video, but ultimately I was churning out games that were so bad for a solid two months. I genuinely felt like I couldn't make a good game anymore and my ideas were bad. The games were bad, it was terrible. So come January slash February, I took a step back and asked myself what I truly wanted to work on. This week or so of Limbo ended up resulting in an idea for this game, Grapple. Remember Chicken Slapper? Well, this was the game I really wanted to work on around that time and I'm not gonna lie, if you showed me this game two years ago, I wouldn't believe it was mine. I'm super proud of Grapple, it's the first game I could confidently show someone and know it's not going to break on the first level. It's the first game where the visuals are somewhat decent, and it's the first game that I had no burnouts on. 
Grapple taught me to work on things because I want to work on them, and not because I feel like it'll make a good video or it could make a lot of money. Currently, I've made nothing from any of my games, but I am happy that they're out there and I'm happy that I have an audience to share them with. I hope this video inspired just one person, and I'm looking forward to showing you the games that I've made in two years' time. Cheers.